case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1999 case, Giroux v. Somerset County, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit focused on a test to determine if a prison had violated an inmate's Eighth Amendment rights. Conditions within the prison must be extremely poor, and officials must have known about the risk but chose to ignore it. The case involved former inmate Sean Giroux, who sued Somerset County, Sergeant Hartley, and Sheriff Barry DeLong under 42 U.S.C. Section 1983 for violating his Eighth Amendment rights. In September 1995, Giroux was instructed to meet with a detective by Deputy Doug Manson. Fellow inmate Robert Tucker overheard the conversation and threatened Giroux. Later that day, Giroux was transferred to another cell, but despite requesting protective custody, he was assaulted by another inmate during visitation. The district court initially granted summary judgment to all defendants. However, the judgment was later reversed due to Giroux's request for protective custody, threats from other inmates, and the physical assault during visitation. The case was then remanded to the district court for further proceedings, with Giroux's claims against Hartley, DeLong, and Somerset County reinstated. Giroux was ultimately awarded costs in the trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.